Algebra 1, 10.10, .10, Simplify Complex Rational Expressions. A complex rational expression has a rational expression, a fraction, in its numerator or denominator or both. You can look at these three examples. These are all complex rational expressions. We've got a fraction in a fraction, don't we? We have a rational expression in a rational expression. When you look at these, this one just means 1 plus 2 over x divided by 3. We can take away that fraction bar and just put a division sign there. And the same with these. It just means that this is divided by this. And 1 third plus 1 fifth is divided by 2 over x minus x over y. See? And to simplify a complex rational expression, we multiply the numerator and denominator by a fraction that's equal to 1. You know, the numerator and denominator are the same, so the fraction equals 1. The fraction we choose should use the least common multiple, the LCM, of the denominators found in the numerator denominator of the complex rational expression. So here's the denominators in the numerator, and here's the denominators of the denominator. See? Because we have this fraction bar. These are technically the numerator, and these are technically the denominator. So we can do 3 and 5. They can meet at 15, right? And then we have xy as the LCM for these, all right? So take a look at this. We've got 3 fourths plus x over 2, and that is over x over 8. So we can multiply these by 8 over 8. It's the least common multiple, because 4 and 2 can meet at 8. It's the least common multiple over itself that would equal 1. 8 over 8 equals 1, doesn't it? So now we can just multiply this numerator by 8 and this denominator by 8. I put them over a 1 so that I could just do numerators straight across and denominators straight across and make it easier for my eyes. But we can also cross-cancel out, can't we? For this 4 and this 8, there's 1 4 and 2 4s, so we can cross-cancel it out like that. And for this 2 and this 8, there's 1 2 and 4 2s here. So now we've got 3 times 2 over 1 times 1 plus 4x over 1, right? 4 times x over 1. And for this one, we have 8x over 8, right? Well, this is 6 over 1, or a 6, and this is 4x over 1, or 4x, and 8x over 8, this is our buddy, the invisible 1, right? So we just have an x, so now it's simplified. See? That wasn't too hard, was it? We just multiplied the numerator and denominator, by the least common multiple written as a 1. Okay, let's try this one. We've got 1 minus 1 over x over 1 minus 1 over x squared. Well, the least common multiple of an x and an x squared is x squared. What we do is we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x squared over x squared, and we multiply the 1 by x squared, we multiply the 1 over x by x squared, we multiply this 1 by x squared and this 1 over x squared by x squared. And I put them over 1 when there's a fraction so that it's easier to go straight across. What we get is 1 times x squared is x squared, and we get x squared over x here, don't we? So we have x squared minus x squared over x for the numerator. For the denominator, we have x squared minus x squared over x squared, don't we? So now, this becomes x squared minus x, because we do the quotient rule, right? When we have an exponent of 2 and we're, we have, it's over an x, it just becomes x over 1. So now we just have x squared minus x. For the denominator, we've got x squared minus 1, because x squared over x squared makes a 1. So now we're here. Now we can factor this. This x squared minus x factors to x times x minus 1. And the denominator factors to x plus 1, x minus 1. Now we can cancel out, can't we? This x1 minus this x1 cancels out as a 1. And all we're left with is x over x plus 1. And it's simplified. See? We can also simplify complex rational expressions by multiplying by a reciprocal just like we would when we were dividing regular fractions back in fourth and fifth grade. So we can have 
a complex rational expression like 4 over x squared minus y squared over 2 over x minus y. And all it means is we're dividing them, right? So we're dividing 4 over x squared minus y squared is being divided by 2 over x minus y. So all we have to do is flip this guy around to be the reciprocal, the upside down version, right? And just multiply. When we multiply across now, because we flipped him over, we get 4 times x minus y, and we get 2 times x squared minus y squared. Now when we factor this, this numerator becomes 2 times 2 times x minus y, and this becomes 2 times x plus y times x minus y. Now we can cancel out these 2's, and we can cancel out the x minus y over x minus y, because they make a 1, don't they? And all we're left is 2 over x plus y, and it's simplified. See that? So it's really no different than just dividing fractions. I mean, that's what we did before. Like if you wanted to divide 7 eighths by 1 half, we would turn it around and multiply by the reciprocal, wouldn't we? So our next video, 10.11, we're going to talk about the division theorem. And if you want to link to any of the previous videos, we talked about the factor theorem and all the word problems that we did recently in Chapter 10. All those links are going to be in the, in the description of this video, okay? All right, we're going to talk about the division theorem next, and I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you there. Keep your chin up. We can do this. Bye.